5G is coming. 5G is near. But what exactly is 5G? What's the world? Logan here, and this is 5G Explained. 5G stands for the fifth generation. It is a new stage of wireless technology. In the past, 1G gave us calls, 2G gave us SMS, and 3G brought us the internet. 4G is everything faster at a greater speed. So what is 5G bringing us? First of all, 5G is a lot faster than 4G. 4G has a minimum peak download speed of 1 gigabit per second, but then 5G has a minimum peak download speed of 20 gigabits per second. That is 20 times faster than 4G. So that means what takes you now two minutes to download over 4G would be available to you in six seconds. 5G comes with lower latency, which means that there will be shorter delays and less lagging. While 4G has a delay of up to 200 milliseconds, 5G only has a delay of one millisecond. That is crazy fast. And as you can imagine, streaming of videos and gaming will be much more seamless. This also brings along a lot of promises. For example, autonomous cars. You know those cars without drivers, with a wireless technology that has low and latency rate. Traffic information can be transmitted to cars at a much greater speed, ensuring safety and allowing autonomous car to run on their own. 5G also has a higher capacity that is a hundred times more than that of 4G. This means that the number of devices connected to a network within a certain area can be greatly increased, and this will be very important to the implementation of the Internet of Things. Remember getting no signal in large events such as concerts, conventions, and sport events. This will never happen again. With 5G, much of the information is stored in the cloud, so you don't actually have to worry about your mobile phones not having an SD card slot, or that your computer has no more storage. And that is why Google Stadia, the streaming of games, will be available. But every coin has two sides. 5G is not all rosy. Since 5G technology utilizes millimeter waves of higher frequency, the total distance that can be traveled by the waves are shorter. This means that more signal transmission devices will have to be built for 5G to work. More building, more infrastructure, which means higher costs. And as you can imagine, that cost will land on consumers. Millimeter waves are easier to obstruct. In fact, it cannot travel through walls. We've got a problem here. More transmission devices will be needed at home and workspaces for the signal to be stable. And devices such as mobile phones would need new chips, modules, and an increased number of antennas to cope with the new technology. And again, that will cost you more. So is 5G a blessing or a curse? Well, 5G as a technology is definitely promising, but building the network to the standard of what is promised will take time. So early adopters, for example, if you're considering buying a 5G phone when it comes out, beware. The rollout of 5G may be slow, and you might not be able to enjoy the benefits at the very beginning. That's all for now. Until next time.